Hello and welcome to the Art of Caro. In this video, I'm uh, painting a picture for my Castles in the Mist series. Uh, it's a series of paintings uh, that I'm currently working on and um, I don't have any more paintings of this yet on my uh, YouTube, unfortunately, uh, because I just got my new camera. Yay! <laughs> so now I can make videos. Um, so uh, if you want to see the previous pictures, it's they're going to be shown a bit at the end, but you can take a closer look at my Instagram. Uh, here I'm just uh, filling in the sketch of the castle, uh, so when I paint it gold later on, the color is going to stand out from the background and not be like green because I go with the, like a yellow color of the blue. Uh, and uh, then I'm going in to paint sort of a cloud that my uh, creature component is going to come out of. And my creature component for this video is going to be a school of fish. In this series I have a castle and I have a creature. And I'm trying to keep the creature in the background in contrast to the castle by using sort of contrasting color. But it's not super exact. I'm not being very nitpicky about it. It's is sort of close to being in contrast and uh, yeah I'm going in with some shading here but I'm soon about to be <laughs> abrupt abruptly interrupted by one of my cats making a surprise appearance and here it comes this is Sokka uh, <laughs> I had to whisk him out of there before he got acrylic paint on his paws and then the light is going to be in the uh, side view of the picture for a while after that. Yeah, I'm going in with some shading here and I stupidly did not do the line art uh, before doing this. So I'm using the faint outlines from my previous um, sketch that you can see under the white paint and it's not gonna turn out uh, exactly like I um, sketched it. Uh, because I f forgot to take a reference, pi reference picture. Like an idiot. Uh, and um, I probably should have done lane art here and then done a touch up on it later. Uh, but I didn't and it... Um, yeah, you're going to see what happens later on. But um, yeah, it added a bit of a extra dimension to the picture. So, you know, it's... Uh, it uh, took more time for me um, than it should have uh, to paint this because I did the shading and then had to adjust it. Oh, here I'm here I am <laughs> testing out the gold paint uh, on the white and realize it, it turns out way too patchy and um, the metallic paints are a bit um, special, so it, it didn't work straight on the white. Uh, probably could have with a couple of layers, but it, I didn't like how that looked so uh, I went in with uh, a, little, a little test as you saw and then I went in with a warm gold, uh, yellow color uh, and I painted that like a base uh, on top of the white and you can see still see the shadowing here uh, later on that's going to be a bit cover up by, uh, by the gold hmm. And here I'm sketching out uh, my fish. Um, like a school of fish is like a big moving mass, so that's what I'm trying to get the impression of. And I'm just adding fins and uh, stuff like that to the fish that is outside of the um, general mass. Uh, then I'm painting the gold over the yellow, um, and here I almost completely lose the shading I did so too many layers on top uh, and the uh, metallic paint is a bit difficult to see if you applied it evenly uh, so that's why I'm lifting up the picture uh, and uh, like trying to see better 
Uh, as you can see, I go in with Q-tips once in a while and adjust my mistakes. Um, a Q-tip that you dipped in a bit of water, just wipe away uh, the stuff that goes wrong. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, it's great. More white uh, to fill out the sketch. Uh, for the same reason as previously, so the, the color I'm painting on top is going to stand out like it's supposed to. Uh, yeah, and I'm using, um, for almost all of this, I'm using uh, Liquitex acrylic paints and uh, Liquitex uh, basics, I mean, uh, except for uh, the silver paint, there I'm using Winsor Newton uh, Galleria uh, paint and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna talk about that later. Here I'm doing the outline um, with my Posca, uh, my black Posca pen. I'm using a black and a white Posca pen in this. Uh, and then I'm using Liquitex Basics uh, soft body uh, transparent titanium mixing, mixing white, I think it's called, um, uh, for the mist later on. So that's all the paints I'm using this, I think. Yeah, line art, yeah, starting to take the shape that I want. Yeah, and here's the color, the color I was talking about, that I I don't really like this. It's weirdly goopy and sort of gel-like and it doesn't want to stick properly in the way the other paints do. And I don't know if that is because it doesn't want to work on top of the Liquitex paint. But I mean, in some stuff, uh, spot it sticks, in others it doesn't. It's really weird and I'm going to have to go back in to even out the, the paint later on. Uh, here I'm mixing some gold with some blue and red to make shading and go back in again. And this turns out so much better than my pre previous shading. Uh, but the warm tone of the previous shading underneath uh, makes it um, a bit nicer. So it wasn't a complete waste. Uh, the previous shading. Um, yeah, and uh, in this series, um, what I'm trying to do is uh, make the castle angular and the creature sort of more soft and uh, um, like uh, curvy. Uh, so um, that contrast, um, I think, is really nice with contrast. So that's why the castle is like gold yellow and the background is silver blue um, all these paintings are contrasting um, not like exact contrast on the color wheel but sort of contrasting here I'm adding some rim lighting uh, and this is um, it looks a bit weird now but later on when you add the windows and the mist and the, like finishing touches it looks really good yeah. I'm actually really proud proud of these um, uh, paintings that's probably <laughs> why I make, made them a series but I really like this storybook look of it uh, like a fairy tale book um, and I sort of want to think about is these creatures guardians of the castle or are they the enemy sort of up to the the people looking at the picture I guess uh, making the line art of the fish I'm just doing the sort of detailed line art for a couple of them and then I'm just filling in the space between them um, with sort of fishy shapes it's going to be shading and stuff on top of this so <laughs> it doesn't have to be exact a school of fish is sort of a a creature in in an yeah, in itself or <laughs> I don't know what to say it's um yeah all the pieces works together like a big organism and uh, that's sort of what I wanted to give the impression of touching up the windows with uh, my liquid basic uh, titanium white because the Posca pen is not opaque enough for what I wanted uh, here I <laughs> off screen apparently 
uh, mixed some silver and blue and added some light shading to the school of fish uh, so it looks a bit more like three-dimensional it's not meant to be like realistic in any way whatsoever I'm redrawing the line art uh, to make it pop out a bit more to go f to get the effect I'm going for um, it sort of got lost under the shading uh, so And I'm doing some rim lighting on the fish. Uh, it's not very obvious here, and it's um, it's a little bit more obvious in real life. So <laughs> I don't know if it would was necessary, but that's what I've done with all the others. So um, line out for the windows, and now I'm doing the shading to make uh, the fish look like a part of the cloud. Uh, I'm using two shades of blue here uh, as I did with the cloud um, one colder and one warmer and now I'm going in to make the mist and here is where I'm using the Liquitex soft body uh, mixing white uh, and when I, you add the mist I really think it pulls the whole picture together and get this fantasy feeling I'm going for this storybook mysterious castle with this creature fish <laughs> school of fish thing over it and uh, yeah it feels like you can build a story around it um, fixing up the outlines uh, around some of the more prominent fish and signing my name before I realize I need to touch up some <laughs> other stuff in the picture so I do that quickly and then I'm, I'm going to be done yeah, uh, so now you're going to get a quick look at the other paintings in the series. That's my first one, and my second one, and my third one, and the new one! Yay! That's the only one with metallic col colors. Thanks so much for watching! If you want to see more of my videos in the future, you may want to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. May the stars shine upon your faces and have a glorious day. Thank you, and goodbye for now.